The history panel in Lightroom is more important than you think. Today we're gonna dive deep into what it does and how it can be of immense use to you whether you wanna re-edit, recover, rejudge, or even create different versions of the same photo. I'm gonna share with you all the nifty little tricks you need so without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Lightroom and first off, where is the history panel? Well, go to the develop module and once you go to the develop module on the left hand side, you have the history panel. Okay, if you cannot see it, click on this uh, arrow and you'll be able to see it. What does it do? Pretty simple. It records everything that you do to an image in Lightroom. You increase the exposure, it records it right there. You change the presence settings, you paint it with an adjustment brush and change a couple of settings everything stays recorded forever and the best part is it's readable now how to read it here's how so i have an image i've done a bunch of settings it's a very old image and if i go ahead say the highlight note that so the highlight is minus 20 if i go ahead and increase it to say 50 watch what happens if i release it at 50 the history gets recorded now the left value is plus 70 which means that i increase the highlights by 70 Earlier it was minus 20, now it is 50. So 50 minus minus 20 is what? 70, right? Increased by 70. The right side is the new value. The highlight is at 50, so the right side is 50. Here's how to read it. Now some of you also use Photoshop, and Photoshop also does have a history panel. But there's a huge, huge difference. And the difference is this. In Lightroom, everything that you do to an image is recorded forever. No matter how many steps you go, 5,000 steps, 10,000 steps, it stores everything. But in Photoshop, it's kind of limited. And you can increase that limit, I agree to that. But once you have made all the adjustments in Photoshop, and if you have saved the file, and if you close Photoshop, the history erases the next time you open Photoshop. But in Lightroom, it stays forever. You can easily recover the edits of an image in Lightroom very easily. Suppose you edited an image two years ago, you open it up back in Lightroom, all the history is still there. And guess what? It will never get deleted by itself unless you yourself choose to delete. If you look at this image, if I go to the library module, I'll show you. And if I open the metadata, have a look. This image was taken December 27, 2015. A year ago, more than a year ago. And still, if I go to the develop module, I have everything I did to this image. I can go back to the beginning, to the import, to the crop angle, to the temperature, everything that I did. So this is the before when I imported it, and this is the after, after I did such adjustments, okay? Highlights, I didn't want to increase the highlights. Let it be at minus 26, that's fine. Another usage of the history panel is that it allows you to go back and forth in time. Okay, so you made a couple of adjustments in the basic panel. Maybe you did this, this, this. And you want to go back to a certain point to see how the image looked before making all those adjustments. You can always go back. If you don't like it, you can go forward and you can go back and forth in time. Now here's another interesting tip. Suppose you love this version of the photo, but you also want to look how this image would appear in black and white or a crossed processed effect. Here's what you need to do. Let's go back few steps and then let's convert this into black and white now let's give it a tint maybe go here and let's move to blues and increase the blues a little bit just like that and let's go to RGB and increase it the fading effect and take down the blacks just like that okay now you want to see how this looks you want to compare this you want to compare this to the earlier version that you loved Here's what you need to do. Click on this before and after button. Why, why? Once you click here, this shows you the before and after, before editing, after editing. But you wanna compare this to the image that you just loved, to the version that you just loved. And it was this, okay? All you have to do, right click on this and choose copy history step settings to before. Now this will show you that in comparison to this one. So any point in history, if you wanna save it as before, Right click on it and choose copy history steps to before. Let's go ahead and press controller command Z to set the before to how it was. Or if you cannot press controller command Z, also what you can do, you can go right up to the bottom. Okay. And then 
Just where it says import, right click in here and choose copy history steps to before. This will set the original raw image the way you imported it to before. Now suppose you love two versions from different points in history and you want to save both of those versions. How to do that for the same image? Here's how. For example, here I have another image and if I want to say make it more vibrant, just like this, and maybe decrease the exposure. There are different styles to it. Maybe decrease the exposure, create it a more moody kind of effect, just like that. I'm just showing it for demonstration purposes and did some kind of bunch of other stuff. Maybe decrease the saturation or increase the clarity just a little bit. And maybe you love this version and also the other version. Now, here's how to get both the version. Save it as a snapshot. Now, you love this version, click on the snapshot plus icon. Once you click on that and you want to save it as say colorful, okay, create. This creates a snapshot. Now let's go back to the place where we actually started from. So this was the place where we actually started from, I think this one, okay. Now save this also as a snapshot plus save this normal and create. So you have two versions and both these versions are embedded for a single image. So all you have to do, open up the snapshots when you open up the photo and if you want the colorful version, click on colorful. If you want the normal version, click on normal. And there you have it. Now if you have used Lightroom for a while, you already know that sometimes Lightroom lags and sometimes it lags really, really bad. Here's when it lags. When you've applied, say, a lot of adjustment brushes, when you have, say, removed a lot of spots, say, 5,000 spots, not that many, but you get the idea. It stores everything in history. There is no limit to it. Lightroom stores everything. And as it begins to store everything, the performance drops down. The performance hits. So when the performance hits, what you can do, you can go ahead, click on this cross button, and this will clear all of your history. Now, you don't want to go back into removing spots, doing undo. You can always say you removed a lot of spots. In this example, as you can see, I have applied a lot of adjustment brushes. If I ever wanted to edit an adjustment brush, I would click in here and I would just edit it just like that. I would just adjust it. You don't need undos here. It's unnecessary. So when undos are unnecessary and it's hitting the performance, you can always go ahead and clear the history. Now, here's a huge warning and this is a big one. Don't be happy that Lightroom stores everything. I'm completely safe. I can always go back. It cannot be deleted unless I delete it myself. Here's something which will delete it all. Okay. If you want to go back in time, suppose you went back in time, say to the import and you did a very little adjustment here. Maybe you decrease the blacks or increase the contrast. Watch what happens. Every history goes away. So beware. I just did it for you. You don't try this at home or anywhere else unless you really want to do it. And keep in mind that if you go back in time and if you change anything, the history which is above it gets deleted. So I can press Ctrl or Command Z and see if it comes back. Yes, I think it should come back. Yes, it comes back. But if you close the Lightroom and you reopened it, it's gone. So that pretty much wraps up the history panel in Lightroom. If you're worrying that you go a 5,000 steps and if you store a 5,000 steps in history and it will take a lot of your space, it won't. It's just like a text file stored into your catalog, not even into your image. But it will hit the performance if it's too much. Just a couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, history panel stores everything forever. Using the history panel, you can go back and forth in time. Okay. You can set any point in history to before by right clicking on it and choosing copy history step settings to before. You can save different versions of the same image from different points in history by creating a snapshot. And that's pretty much all it. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe. And not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. I didn't mean to hit it, but keep creating. <laughs>